Hi everyone, Dave here. I hope you're all doing well during these difficult times. Today I'm going to show you one of my favourite incognito tracks, Calibri. Uh, it's a lot of fun this, uh, not too complicated, it's not a complicated song but um, there's some nice uh, rhythm guitar parts to get from this. Okay, let's start with the main section. So I'll just go through the harmony first and then I'll talk about the guitar part itself. So chord wise, it's uh, two beats of E minor 9, two beats of A7 sharp 5, two beats of D minor 9, and then two beats of G minor or G minor 9. Then it does E minor 9 to A7 sharp 5 again. And then one bar of D minor 9, a D minor 7, I should say. So that's the basic harmony. The guitar part is basically that, but we reduce the chords down slightly to make them easier to play the parts, because there's a little bit of sliding going on here. So, the first bit, E minor 9 to the A7. We're only going to play, for the E minor 9, it there. Uh, we're only going to play the second, third and fourth strings and the underneath of my index finger will mute off the first string. So for that I'm starting from one fret lower, strum down, slide and then go down up with the pick. Like that. There's a few scratches in between, but if I just talk about the main hits on the chord, I think it'd probably, probably be easier for you to follow it. Then we're going to change to our A7 sharp 5, and for this I'm just playing a four string shape, so just the first four strings. Um, the shapes will be up in the, uh, the tab above, so I won't go through those. So for that I'm going to go up, up, down, up. And there's a little rest in between, so you, that's kind of like the missed down strum. But as you do that, relax the chord with your left hand and that'll give you the cut off that you need. Like that. And then the rest of it's just scratching. So incidentally, you, you, as a general guide, you, your hand is just going constantly down up all the way through in a 16th note fashion. Like that. Okay, something very similar for the D minor 9 into the G minor. So it's the same thing that you did before. Start from a half step below. Down, slide, down, up. And then we're just going to play a simple G minor shape, just a bar across the third fret. It's worth noting also that sometimes he may not hit all three strings. Uh, actually, for the most part, he hits just two. But now and again, you might hear that third string coming through on the uh, on the record. So don't be too worried about it. As long as you're hitting two or three strings for that one, you'll be fine. And again, it's the same rhythm that we use for the A7 sharp five. So you just go up, up, down, up. So that part together. And like I say, the, the strums, the muted strums are there just to kind of keep the hand going and keep the muting, uh, keep the timing going. There we go. Okay, then it does the E minor nine again to A seven. And over the D minor seven, the first time he does it, he does this. So basically he's holding down, it looks like a kind of a D shape, but up at the fifth fret. Um, but really he only mainly hits just the first two strings when he does it. And, and the first finger, sometimes you hear it being played. Sometimes I think he just relaxes it so he can mute off the third string. So you only hear strings one and two. 
So the first is a scratch, so I don't worry about that. So really the rhythm is up, down, up, down. And then he slides up. And then we get into, basically it's, it's like a D minor chord shape, but up here at fret eight. So you might think of this as part of an F major seven chord, or in the terms of D minor, it would bring out the minor nine sound if you played all three strings. But again, really what he's doing, you're only really hearing strings one and two, and the finger on the, the second finger is just muting off the third string for the most part. And when you're up there, you're just going up three times. So. Like so. Okay, and then he goes through that entire sequence again, but when we get to the D minor seven bar, it's a very slight variation. He holds the three strings down and he plays them, and it's just two up strums. Slides up with the third finger on the second string, and then plays the higher shape. And again, it's three up strums. So it's a bit more choppy this. So if I do it with the bar before it, that's it. So that's the main, so those, uh, what's, what's that, that's um, eight bars of a section. That is the main thing that he plays. Now at the end of some of these sections, there's a little kind of um, band unison stab going up. Now the, it's really simple. Basically you've just got a sus4 shape. So the first one's like an E sus4. And incidentally that's all we're going to play. But if I'm talking about the harmony with the bass underneath it, it's like an E sus chord with a D note in the bottom. And then it's just going up parallel. So the first one is there. That's um, E sus4 over D. Then it goes up three frets. We've got an F with a G sus4. Then up another two frets. And we've got an A sus4 with a G in the bass. That's the first three. And then it starts on this one again. Goes up three frets. So what do we have there? Like a C sus4 with a B flat in the bass. And then finally, got a D sus4 with a C in the bass. But the way we'd play it is we're just gonna play the sus4 on the top and it's all up strums because what happens is, is you're playing on the 16th notes off beats. So it's like one E and a two E and a. And then it does the same thing on beats three and four. Three, E, and, uh, four, E, and, uh, like that. Um, if I do it with the bar before it, like that. And that takes you through the main section.
Okay, next bit is the bridge. So let's first go through the chords. We've got a bar of G minor seven, then a bar of G minor six, then we've got a slash chord, C over D, or D11 if you want to think of it like that, and then a D9, then another slash chord, uh, B flat over C, or you can think of it as C11, and it does another bar of that, but then it does a little push at the end, where it just goes C over D again, and then we're up to E minor 9, and then this time we're going to play a B7 sharp 5. Now on the record, I don't think you can don't think you can actually hear a guitar part, um, but I've come up with one just in case you want to play along with that part of the record. So basically, again, I'm keeping it to just three strings, so I'm just playing on strings two, three, and four, and I just play it with a bar. You can use whatever finger you like. Um, I tend to use my my third finger a lot of the time when I do this, but I do sometimes switch, so whatever's easiest. So I've got, so the basic rhythm that you're gonna use for most of the chords is this. So all I'm doing there is I'm going down, then a miss down, hit on the up, Then a few scratches, I hit it on another up. And then up, down, up. And the rest of it's just scratching out the uh, 16th note rhythm. So down, up, 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 down, up. And I'm using that for each rhythm. So first shape, again, just on those. And then I just change the shape. Again, these all, you can, if you want to play the bigger shapes, G minor six, you can do, but I just keep it to strings two, three, and four. Then up to the C over D, and again, I'll just play the same three strings with a bar. And then the D9, again, I'm using the same sort of shape I use for the G minor six, but up here. Back down here for the B flat over C. And then in the second bar, there's that little push. So in that bar, down, up, up, down. And then for the push, hits on, on the up. So I'll do that really slowly, that bar. Like that. Then we're going to get something similar for the E minor 9. In fact, it's the same strumming pattern. Down, up, up, down, up. And then B7 sharp 5. And again, you could just play the three strings two, three, and four. Or if you want to add the uh, the low B in, you could do. So like I say, there's no actual guitar part on the record, but this is a way that you can play along with it.
Okay, the next bit is the keyboard solo, and it's very similar to the bridge, but it's a, it's a longer version of it, basically. So it starts off the same way, uh, G minor seven. And again, there's no real guitar part on the, uh, on the recording, but this is just something that you can do when you play along with the record. So I'm using the same strumming pattern as I did for the bridge. So one bar of G minor seven, one bar of G minor six. Then the C over D. D9. Then B flat over C for two bars this time. Then we go back up to the C slash D, C over D, D9. Again, if I was playing this part with, with a band or along with a record, I'd probably keep to just the three strings rather than including the bass notes. But, you know, just so that you can hear it a little bit more complete if you like, I'll add them in. So that's the keyboard solo, and then um, it basically goes into another bridge, but the keyboard continues soloing along with with the bridge section, basically. So you hear the horns come in, but the keys keep going. So I don't really need to go over that again, because that was in the previous section. Okay, so I think that's all the sections done. Okay, one thing on the end of this, um, pretty sure that the guitar part for this one was played on a Strat. I'm using what I suppose people call position four, which is the neck and middle pickups together, that kind of out of phase. Gives it more of an acoustic -y sound. Um, he might possibly have DI'd this. It's got a very, very clean sound and probably around that time, certainly late 80s through to the 90s, it was a popular way to record clean guitar probably the only other thing i'd add is that there seems to be um when you listen to the beginning of the track you can hear like an eighth note delay added to the rhythm guitar um, but it's it's quite subtle it's it's there but it's not getting in the way of the rhythm too much um, so um, if you're wondering why it sounds maybe just a little bit different on the record that's why there's a little bit of a delay. And I would imagine that it was probably added post. So the guitar was played clean and then they just added it on in the mix. Because certainly when you do the stabs going up, you can't hear it. It's Because otherwise those delays would get in the way. So those bits. Okay, um, I think that's it. I think that's all the things I need to go over. I uh, hope you get a lot from this and I will see you for a lesson again real soon. Take care.